beef. It's what's for dinner. Or lunch. Okay, breakfast too. In this segment, we'll cover quality, cuts, grades, and doneness, as well as glean some expert tips from our own Chef Manny. Beef is the culinary name for meat from cattle, and humans have been dining on it since prehistoric times. Beef is the third most consumed meat in the world and is an excellent source of high quality protein and essential nutrients. It should come as no surprise that Americans account for much of the world's beef consumption. Fun fact, Disneyland sells more than 4 million hamburgers every year. No Crazy. Way. Selecting quality cuts of meat can be confusing, and marbling is one of the most important factors during the process. Marbling refers to the intramuscular fat found inside the muscle. Just like marble, this fat appears like streaks and it's what gives the quality beef its wonderful flavor. While leaner beef is usually more tender, the lack of marbling drastically reduces its complex flavor. When you see streaks of fat throughout the cut, you can correctly predict a more flavorful steak, but may sacrifice little tenderness. American cuts of meat are broken down into two major categories, the forequarter and the hindquarter, basically the front and the back of the cow. Let's begin with the forequarter. First up, the classic chuck, the source of bone-in chuck steaks, flat iron steaks, roasts, and stew meat. The trimmings of the chuck, as well as some full boneless chuck, are ground for what you'd find in the grocery store as ground beef and hamburgers. Just like the names imply, a chuck roast would be oven roasted, stew meat would be stewed, and steaks would be grilled. Beyond the burger, ground chuck is often ground up and used as a base in many dishes. Next up, the melt in your mouth rib. This cut includes part of the short ribs, the prime rib, and ribeye steaks. While the ribeye is less tender than other cuts, it has more flavor due to its wonderful marbling. Ribs can be roasted, braised, or even seared, and the prime rib is oven roasted. The brisket. Hailing from the very front of the cow, and mostly used for barbecue, corned beef, or pastrami. It is usually braised or roasted. In addition, smoking brisket is becoming more and more popular. The plate cut is found on the underside of the cow and provides the outside skirt steak used for fajitas, pot roast, as well as an additional source of short ribs. And if that weren't enough, this versatile cut is also commonly used to make pastrami. The remainder, typically tough and fatty, is usually ground with the exception of the hanger steak. Now the hanger, derived from the diaphragm, is the prima donna of the forequarter because it's lazy and just hangs around, get it? So therefore it's very tender and excellent when grilled. The shank. This tough cut is relegated to stews and soups and nothing else. But what a tasty stew it can be. Now for the hindquarter. First up is the loin which is directly behind the ribs. Loin cuts include the T-bone, a T-shaped bone, which divides a small section of tenderloin and a large section of strip steak, porterhouse, similar to T-bone, but with a larger tenderloin, and strip steaks, like the very flavorful New York strip. All these cuts are seared and then grilled or broiled. The tenderloin lives up to its moniker in two ways. It's the easiest to chew and the most expensive. However, some connoisseurs consider it to be less flavorful. Cuts include the filet mignon, tenderloin steak, and tournados, a thick cut from the center of the tenderloin, all of which can be seared, then grilled or broiled. Fancier preparations include the Chateau Briand, which is a large center cut filet that is roasted, and the decadent beef wellington, which is coated in pate, wrapped in puff pastry, and baked. Oh my! Next up is the sirloin. This cut is less tender but more flavorful and is further divided into top and bottom sirloin, which is even less tender. Cuts include top sirloin, sirloin steak, and the ever-popular summer barbecue cut, the tri-tip. These are all grilled or broiled and the tri-tip may be roasted. The aptly named round, the end part of the cow, is lean with less marbling but moderately tough. 
Cuts include top round steak, bottom round roast, rump roast, and eye of round. Some of these roasts require moist cooking methods to avoid unnecessary toughness. And the steaks are often marinated prior to grilling to add flavor and to help tenderize the meat. You've probably seen the USDA Grade Shield before. Beef is evaluated by highly skilled meat graders from the Agriculture Department using a characteristic assessment and electronic gizmos and charts and standards. Trust me, it's a thorough process. USDA Prime is the superior grade with amazing tenderness, juiciness, flavor, and fine texture. It has the highest degree of fat marbling and is derived from the younger beef. That's why Prime is featured at the most exclusive upscale steakhouses. USDA Choice is the second highest graded beef. It has less fat marbling than Prime, but is still a quality steak, particularly a cut that is derived from the loin and rib areas, such as tenderloin filet or rib steak. Generally, USDA Choice will be less tender, juicy, and flavorful, with a slightly coarser texture than most Prime. This is the most widely available. Now, USDA Select is generally the lowest grade of steak you will find at a supermarket or restaurant. While leaner than Prime or Choice due to very little marbling, Select is also tougher, coarser, less juicy, and less flavorful. While still an acceptable grade, Select is not nearly as enjoyable or as desirable as higher grade beef. When it comes to a great steak, doneness, yes, that's a word, is one of the most important achievements. Overcooking a steak can ruin the flavor while undercooking it can make tougher cuts of meat hard to chew. In steak speak, there are six degrees of doneness, but Kevin Bacon will need to wait till we get to pork. Ranking from least to most done. Here we go. Blue rare, seared on the outside and 100% red on the inside. Rare, seared and 75% red on the inside. Medium rare, seared with 50% red on the inside. Medium, seared and just 25% left pink on the inside. Medium well, shows only a hint of pink inside. And finally, well done is 100% brown throughout. While it's easy to worry about a rare steak safety for consumption, there's really no need for concern. Beef does not carry many of the parasites that can make you sick because it's so dense, bacteria cannot penetrate the meat. Plus, the searing process will kill any surface parasites that may be present. Let's talk beef now. Although filet is considered the best choice of meat to put onto a center plate, it's also the most difficult one to do, especially in a larger event, because of people's preferences of doneness. So let's switch that up with a boneless short rib. Slow roasted, it's tender and juicy, and it's actually very much more forgiving. Okay, let's review. Marbling gives beef its flavor. We talked about the four quarter cuts, chuck, rib, brisket, plate, and chain. The hind quarter cuts, loin, tenderloin, and the sirloin, which are the most tender and expensive cuts of beef. The USDA grades its meat as prime, the superior grade chosen by most high-end restaurants, choice, and select. Finally, doneness ranges from blue rare to well done.